Hello everybody, my name is Dr. Rez Sternberg at Ponte Vedra Plastic Surgery. I wanted to do a quick video on BBL, which is a Brazilian butt lift. A very, very common and very stylish procedure right now. Um, it's very in the media and in the trends. And I wanted to do a couple, say a couple of things about the consultation process and also some misconceptions that we can clear up. So BBL surgery is one of the big things we're seeing right now. The patients are really in demand and wanting. Um, basically this requires uh, liposuctioning areas in the body to obtain or harvest the fat. Once we have that fat, we tend to clean it and purify it to get a better consistency of fat, and then we re-inject that fat into patients. It started a lot with uh, breast contouring and breast revisionary surgeries and with breast reconstruction. We're using fat grafting for a lot of different areas in the body. So we can fat graft the buttocks, which is what BBL is, the Brazilian butt lift. We can also fat graft the areas of the face, uh, the breast, the hands, you know, different things. For the consultation, you're seeing one of the surgeons, um, and then we talk about areas for liposuction. So we can achieve certain things on some patients and we cannot achieve things on other patients. So, you know, very, very thin patients who may not have enough fat to harvest will not get very good results for the, for the butt augmentation portion of the, of the procedure. For patients who have more fat, if we do too much liposuction, they may get loose areas of skin um, that won't tighten just from liposuction. So again, we'll, we'll talk through the expectations with patients um, and then let them know what they can expect from this procedure. But in general, we see the patient, we assess the areas where liposuction can improve their overall body contour. Um, that would be areas that are most commonly the abdomen trunk, the flanks area, the back, the bra line, um, sometimes the upper arm, um, a lot of times the inner and outer thighs. Um, those areas are able to be uh, harvested and for the fat um, from those areas, so it leaves the, the body looking better and with a secondary benefit of using that fat to be placed somewhere else. So then we're gonna clean that fat. We're gonna re-inject that fat into the buttocks. We turn the patient over face down. I like to do it in the prone position better when the patient is face down because I feel like I get more even results and I can look at one side versus the other. I don't like to do a half side and then the other half side because I feel like you get more uneven results. So we typically do the patient prone. We uh, basically take the amount of fat we have and we separate into two. We put it into the areas of the buttocks that we want to augment. That could be the hip dips, that could be the upper portion of the buttocks some more. We can define more the lower part of the buttocks. So we kind of use that artistically to create a heart shape or nice, you know, fuller buttocks. It works really well for patients who desire modest um, fullness to the buttocks. Just give them more of a lift, a more of a natural curvy result. It's effective for patients who want much larger buttocks, but I tend to not like it as much for that procedure because the fat doesn't tend to stay around as long, giving that long projection. So. For patients who have more modest results, I can get very nice expect, uh, results and expectations. For patients looking for a very large um, buttock result, um, it just has to be the right patient with the right skin elasticity and not everyone's a good candidate for that. My preferred patient is a patient who wants um, a modest enhancement to improve the overall contours of the buttocks and to improve the uh, tone of the buttocks but not to overly enhance or make them irregular. So in essence, that's what a BBL procedure is, Brazilian butt lift. The recovery patient period for patients that are having BBL is much different than some of the other procedures. Because on other procedures, you are laying on your back, recovering, especially for mommy makeovers or bre breast augmentations, you're laying on your back in kind of what we call the beach chair position. For Brazilian butt lifts, we want to stay off the butt as much as possible. We want the fat grafts to have the best chance of surviving. Um, and therefore, when uh, we want the patients to either be standing, like a lot of patients, when they go back to work, they'll use a Vera desk for six to eight weeks afterwards, so they're standing. You don't want any pressure on the buttocks to crush the fat. The longer that fat is able to, to be in that area, get more oxygen, get more nutrition, the better that fat stays. A BBL procedure takes about a week to recover from, mostly because of liposuction. The buttock, uh, in the, putting the fat into the buttocks is not really what hurts. It's the areas of liposuction. Um, those are usually just more sore areas. Patients do wear a compressive garment for about six weeks after a BBL surgery. Um, or any lipo contouring of the abdomen or flanks, uh, it just helps to, to maintain compression to really help tighten and tone the skin where the liposuction was performed. Um, so that is a necessity. And most patients are back to normal life, including light exercise and activity within a week. Fat grafting, once you take the fat out of some area of the body and put it into another area of the body, that fat is going to be around forever. It is not a temporary filler. It doesn't melt or go away or anything like that. It is a permanent filler. And that's very important to understand because when we're adding fat to any part of the body, the more that you, we can have survive, the better the result would be. So for those patients that are um, 
really wanting the maximal survival of fat grafts, the, the, the more you have to be stringent about your post-operative care. I usually tell patients about 50% of the fat that I put in remains. And how long is it gonna remain? Forever, it becomes a living tissue. So the good and bad of that is if you gain weight, that fat is gonna gain weight like your normal fat would. So if you have a fuller buttocks and you gain weight, they're gonna get bigger. And so same thing with the face. If you have fat in your face and you gain weight, that fat is gonna grow with you. So I have to be careful when we're putting fat back into patients that we're using patients that tend to be very stable in their weight. Patients who fluctuate considerably in weight are not good candidates for any fat grafting procedures because the areas can get swollen and bigger and that's what we do not want, especially in the face uh, or the breast. The buttocks is not a bad of an area, but you know, it's very important to understand the fat grafts will, be, will act like normal natural tissue and they will gain or lose with the patient. Again, my name is Dr. Rez Sternberg at Ponte Vedra Plastic Surgery, and hopefully I've answered some of your questions about BBL, the Brazilian butt lift. If not, please do some more research on our website at pvps.com. There'll be a lot of helpful information and some pictures on that website. Um, if you have any further questions, please come in for a consultation and schedule at any time. We'll be happy to see you.